Ladies and gentlemen, this is Aaron Lang again from Home with Chevrolet talking about our car corner. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about how to make your door so it doesn't stick in the wintertime. I'm going to give you an example of something because a lot of you have experienced this. You ever open your trunk and then you have to pull it open and it goes and you think, why did that so sticky? Because the metal or the glass, in this case on a door, has stuck against the molding. It happens primarily in the wintertime. You get moisture here. And when you shut the door, it, the door freezes against the moisture. So when you open it, it's trying to pull that glass that's frozen against the moisture there, okay? And that happens to everybody, unless you park your car in the garage. What we do recommend to do, you can take an oil, a penetrant oil. You can actually take PAM, the cooking spray that you spray in your, that you spray in your, for, for cooking, uh, on your, on your uh, skillets, et cetera. Or you can take Vaseline or baby oil. In this case, I'm using some lubrication that we have in our service department. Okay, I'm going to spray Hello, a little bit on the rag. Park on one, park in, park one. You have to excuse us, we're in business hours, so we will have a little interruptions like that on time to time. I'm going to spray this, it's a silicone lubricant. See how I'm spraying it there? I'm going to rub it right here on the gasket. Notice how the gasket, I'm going to show you so you can see it, so you can see the shine difference. Notice how it shines a little bit? Instead, instead of the moisture being here now, it's got a little lubricant. So you can feel the you can feel a little slide little slide a little bit. So at that point, the glass or the door jam or the frame of the door does not stick to this molding here. So when it when it rains and then it freezes at night, that water will not be able to make a good seal. So in other words, when I shut my door and I try to open my door, it's frozen door that keeps the door from freezing shut. You have two problems. One is that's an issue. The other one is if you wash the car and it gets extremely cold, water runs down. Come around here, sweetheart. The water runs down and it gets in the door latch. So when I open the door, it doesn't unlock. It doesn't open. So that's the two, the two major causes of a door being stuck shut. This right here that gets water down in here, it freezes. So it, the latch is stuck. That's one thing. You can also spray the lubricant on that latch and that'll keep that from occurring. And the other thing is right here. Let me slide across. What you'll notice, this is called a frameless door, meaning that there is no frame around the window. When you shut this door, the window rolls up right underneath here. That's a frameless door. Same principle, you want to put the lubricant around every rubber component right inside here. People say, well, I'm going to get, on, I'm going to get in there, I'm going to get on that. You, when you get in a car, you never get on that. It's not something you get in. Watch. It's not a normal. It's not normal that you do that when you get in and out of a car. Some people put their hand up here to get in and out, or they put their hand on the door, but this is not going to be in your way. You just put it in and out. You get in and out of the car. It's not a problem. But I do recommend it. You don't have to put globs of it on there. If you put baby oil or Vaseline on there, just wipe it off. That's all you have to do. Wipe off the residue, and that'll work perfectly fine. You can do it on the trunk as well. So when the trunk sticks, it won't stick anymore. It'll make that noise when you open the trunk. It won't happen. It'll be sticking to nothing other than the lubricant and the stick to the lubricant. Okay? Once again, this is Aaron Lang from Homewood Chevrolet Car Corner. We're going to be doing these things from time to time. If you have any questions or if you have any comments or if you want to hear about anything in particular, feel free to call us here at 708-799-2000 and ask for any of our departments. We'll be more happy to direct and answer any questions you might have. Thank you. Thank you.